Upon entering the room, introduce yourself and confirm the patient's name and date of birth. Explain what the exam involves and confirm the patient's consent. Ask if the patient has any pain in their hands before starting. It is important to wash your hands thoroughly to prevent the spread of infection. Ensure patient is adequately exposed, bare below the elbow. Hand examination should follow the pattern of look, feel, move. Look. With the patient's palms down, look at the dorsum of the hand and wrist for any obvious swelling, muscle wasting or scars. Is there any deformity, such as ulnar deviation at the MCP joints? Inspect for digit deformity associated with rheumatoid disease. Swan neck deformity is characterised by hyperextension of PIP joints and flexion of the DIP joint. Boutonnier deformity is characterised by PIP joint flexion and DIP joint hyperextension. Z-shaped thumb deformity consists of hyperextension of the interphalangeal joint with fixed flexion and subluxation of the metacarpophalangeal joint. Inspect the skin for thinning or bruising, as may be seen in steroid use. Also look for thickening of the skin of the fingers to suggest systemic sclerosis. Look at the nails for psoriatic changes such as pitting and onycholysis and for evidence of nail fold vasculitis. Now ask the patient to turn their hands over and inspect the palms. Look for muscle wasting at the thenar and hypothenar eminence. Feel. Assess the temperature at the wrist and MCP joints. Gently squeeze the MCPs to assess for tenderness. Bimanually manually palpate any MCP, PIP or DIP joints that appear swollen. Is the swelling boggy to suggest synovitis? If the swelling is bony, this is likely to represent osteoarthritis. Bimanually palpate the wrists. Finally, run your hand up the patient's forearm to the elbow. Feel and look for psoriatic plaques and rheumatoid nodules. Move. Assess wrist flexion and extension by asking the patient to make a prayer sign, then repeating this upside down. Ask the patient to make a fist and ensure that all fingers are tucked into the palm. Check that the patient can touch their thumb against each of their fingers. Finally, check function by asking them to squeeze your fingers to check the power of their grip. Check the power of pincer grip by opposing this. Ask the patient to pick up a small object such as a coin. Check tripod grip by asking the patient to hold a pen.